Hey guys, this is iPiano, and today I'm going to be showcasing a Minecraft server plugin for you. I made this plugin myself to address a couple of issues I've noticed playing multiplayer servers. The server is called Portal Protector, and as you might expect, it protects you near Portal. The reason I did this is that I feel it is unfair for a player who has worked his way up to getting a diamond pickaxe and getting obsidian and going to the nether. Uh, uh, I feel that it is unfair for a player who has done all that to go through the nether portal and get killed by another player before their computer has even loaded the nether. Because that is one of the things about this game. It, it lags a lot when you switch dimensions unless you have a really, really good computer, which a lot of people don't. And I think it's unfair for the people who do to take advantage of the other people and kill them before they have even loaded in the nether. So. I'm going to load up a server I've started up here. I've got it running on my computer. And as you can see, I have another player on the server. This is my brother. I am using his account as kind of a dummy just to show off some of the effects of this plugin. So the first thing I want to show you is melee attack abilities. And I'm going to grab a couple other things I can use for later. Um, the main effects of this plugin I guess you could say the main effects are that they will stop you from taking damage or causing damage to other players when you're standing next to a portal. And optionally, the owner of the server can have a timeout, so it, the effect only lasts for a certain amount of time. Then there's a couple of passive effects that I'll show you a little later. So as you can see, he's here. We'll pretend he just came out of his portal and he's waiting for the world to load. He came through from the nether and I'm trying to kill him and I can't because he is too close to the portal. So that, I mean, right there you can see that would be, you know, really helpful for somebody who just came through. Likewise, I can't shoot him with arrows. Also, I can't hit him with a potion and cause him, cause him to get potion effects. And uh, in the same way, he can't attack me. I will, um, later, I will move him over there and stand near the portal and try to attack him and you'll see the same way he can't attack me when he's standing near the or players next to the portal can't take advantage of this and attack players that are away from the portal however this does not affect monsters or or mobs in general if i get a egg to spawn let's say i'm gonna choose i gotta find a passive mob because this is on uh this is on peaceful mode right now, so that he doesn't get killed, because he is, there, we got a cow, he is uh, on normal, normal creative mode, not creative, normal uh, survival mode. Okay, so I got a cow down there, and I'm going to throw this potion, I'm going to throw a splash potion of poison. And it won't affect him, but it will affect the cow. So there you go. The potion was thrown, and the cow is taking poison damage. You can see he's got the poison, but the player is not. This will also happen for any monsters near the portal. In addition, this mod or this uh, plugin will not stop you from attacking monsters. Um, they can still attack you. You can still attack them, just like in any survival mode. The only thing it stops is spawn killing from other players. All right, so now I'm going to go through a couple of the passive effects. Actually, no. Next, I'm going to move him, and then you can see uh, that I can't attack him when I'm standing next to the portal. So, yeah, I'll, I'll show you that right now. All right, so as you can see, I have moved my guinea pig over there, and I'm standing next to the portal, and I will now attempt to shoot him with a bow, and I can't do that. Can't do that. I'll try to throw a potion at him, can't do that. It doesn't work. But, if I put another cow over here, again, I can affect the cow, but not the player. And all of these effects are just as effective in the nether. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this in the overworld just for the purpose of having the open land around. I will possibly head to the nether later just to show a little bit, but everything is essentially the same. So now, the passive effects. This ma uh, this plugin also has the ability, and when I, I say the ability because all of the effects of this plugin are configurable. You can turn them off or on uh, if you own the server or if you are an OP on the server. I've got a list of commands that you can do that, 
and if you're a player you can see uh, which effects are currently turned on or off so let's see I'm gonna need a bucket of lava lint some TNT obsidian and just a random block all right so here's how this works first of all I got TNT you cannot blow up TNT near a portal so this will prevent you from making TNT out here away from the portal and trying to blow up the player when they come through in addition you cannot light fires near portals Let's see won't let me light them all right you can't place lava some people I've seen this before people will place lava so that it will you know cover up the portal and then the player comes through and they can't get out in addition you're, you're probably thinking right now that you could get around this by just placing the lava way up high. Well, you can't. So you see the lava is spreading, and it's going to come down here. And it will not spread around the portal. There you go. See? It's, the portal has this little barrier around it. So you cannot, there will be no lava within, I think, two or three blocks of it. And if any lava does somehow get there, like you spawn your portal in the middle of a lava pool or something, all you have to do is just place a block next to the portal, and that'll start causing all the lava to update, and it'll disappear, you know, one or two blocks at a time until there's a clear area around your portal. So that is, I think, a really effective way of stopping grief. And there's a couple more effects. I've seen players get blocked off by the. Uh, I've seen players block off their portals so that other players can't get out. The most effective way is to use obsidian because it's hard to break. But as you can see, you are not allowed to place obsidian right in front of any of the portal blocks. You can place them around them. You just can't place them directly next to a portal block. Likewise, you can't place normal blocks next to a portal block only when a player is inside the portal. So I'll just move my guinea pig inside the portal, and you'll see that. All right, so as you can see, my guinea pig has just come through the portal, and uh, I've seen players do this where they try to block you off with uh, blocks when you're in the portal, but as you can see, that won't work. So even if you come through and your portal is blocked off, it won't be blocked by obsidian, so you can break it by hand. It might take a while, but you can break it by hand, and they won't be able to re-block you off uh, after you've done that. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the extent of the effects of my ma of my plugin, I believe. Uh, actually, I can just check that quick. There's a command. You can, as you can see, I've got all of the leftover messages. You can actually turn those off with the command portal perfect protector notify, and it'll turn off those notifications whenever I try to do something that's not allowed. In addition. I've got the status command, which tells me what everything is protected or not. So lava is pro uh, lava flowing near portals is protected. Placing blocks next to someone in a portal is protected. Potion splashes are protected. Fires are protected. Projectiles, lava, melee, all this stuff is protected. And since the user I have right now is a OP on this server, I can actually turn one of those off. I'll turn off melee. Alright, melee is unprotected, so now I can come up and hit this guy, and he'll take damage. And, there you go, it says melee is not protected. Alright, so, there you go, that's a couple of the basic commands. There's also uh, one other thing. I mentioned earlier that this this uh, plugin can also support a timeout. Currently, the timeout is set to never, so anyone standing near a portal is protected. But you can set it for any number of seconds. I can make a 10-second timeout. So what this will do is, when you go through a portal, it'll set a timeout. It'll, it'll start the timeout, and then 10 seconds later, you will be able to take damage from other players. 
this, this only affects the melee and projectile and potion effects aspect. Other stuff, the passive effects don't turn off ever, unless you, uh, unless an admin um, unprotects them. So I'll just do that quick. All right, so here you can see he has just come back through the portal, and I can't attack him. But after about 10 seconds, his timeout will end, and there I go. I can attack him again, and I can set the timeout to nev never again. Negative. If you set it to a negative number, that makes the timeout set to never. And there you go. He's standing next to the portal, so I can't attack him anymore. So that's really useful too set the timeout really low or really high to prevent people from trying to abuse this mod, uh, not mod, plugin. I guess they're kind of interchangeable terms, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that one, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I've thought of a couple of ways people could try to try to grief with this mod, uh, unless there's a timeout. Oh, also, a popular way of breaking these portals is placing lava in the frame. And uh, since you can't place lava, you're probably thinking you can't do that, but I have that allowed. You can place lava in a portal frame to break it as long as no, as long as no player, including yourself, is standing right next to the portal frame. So that'll prevent you from breaking portals uh, when a player has just come out of them, and it'll allow you to break the portal if you want to, uh, if you want to, you know, if you want to uh, you know, move the portal or something. And another, another thing like that is uh, you can also light portals still that are right next to other portals. I know that's something you might, since this is, you know, that spot's right next to it, but it, the, the distance around where you can't light fire is short enough that I can light one here, and there you go, I another, got another portal. So that's not an issue. Um, if you can think of anything that is an issue, let me know, and I'll try to come up with a fix for it. There's a couple of things I've thought of that I just decided not to deal with because it would create more issues, I feel. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. If you like this mod, or if you like the idea of this plugin, I've got a link to the page, the bucket page for it in the description. It will run on any bucket server, which is version 1.5, I think, or later. Um, and any machine that has Java 6 or later. So I try to make it compatible with lots of versions. Currently, I think the current version of the plugin I'm on is 1.7.2. That has absolutely no bearing on the version of Minecraft. It's just my own version system based on whether I've added big things or made small changes or what. So don't get thrown off by that. All versions of this should work for Minecraft 1.5.2 or later as long as you're using the Craft Bucket server. So that's pretty much all I have to show you in this video. I guess I'll just hop into the nether here. And um, there you can see I've got a portal here and there is no lava flowing near the portal. Um, I'll just make myself... Okay, I just put myself in survival mode. So when I go through this portal, it'll send me a message telling me that I'm protected, I believe. Well, I know that does that with my uh, my guinea pig over here. I'll I'll show you that I guess with him. Um, it's it, it could be any number of things. Part maybe because I'm OP or you know who knows what. So I'll just switch over to him, and uh, then you'll see that the timeout does you know does show when you go through the portal. So hold on a few seconds, and I've actually got him running on the same computer. So that's that's right here. So I'll just bring him up, and uh, all right, here we go. So I'm I'm running the default pack, texture pack with him because my computer does not handle running two high definition texture packs and a server, and recording all at the same time. Oh, I know what the problem is. I turned off the timeout. There currently is no timeout. So there you go. When you go through the portal and there's no timeout, it doesn't even say anything. But if you go through the portal and there is a timeout set, here we go, I'll show you that. And in case you haven't guessed, um, PP is an abbreviation of the portal protector command prefix. You can use that or portal protector inter interchangeably. Uh, yeah, I'll make the timeout 10 again. That's, I think that's the default. So here, if I go through this portal, it'll, uh, 
tell me that yeah, there you go I'm protected from melee projectile and potion effects for 10 seconds it will not however notify me when those 10 seconds are up I thought about putting that in as a feature but I figured it might get annoying for some people so if you if you feel that that's something I should put in let me know and uh, if enough people think that's a good idea I'll put it in and maybe make it optional or something let me just see if I miss any commands I've got a help for it that'll list all the commands the player can use. Uh, since this player is an OP, it shows me I can, you know, set the timeout, change the effects and stuff. But for the other account, uh, my little guinea pig over here, if I use the portal protector help command, it'll only list notify status, uh, notify and status and timeout. And um, those are those are the only commands it'll tell him he can use. Are the only ones he can use. If he types in one of the other ones, it'll tell him he doesn't have permission to do that. Okay, now I believe that I'm done showing you everything from this mod. If you uh, take a look at the page and see that I missed something, I might put some annotations on this video to comment about it. But other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the idea of the plugin, download it and let me know what you think about it. If Even if you don't uh, want to use it on your server but you like the idea, I would appreciate it if you could download it and just mess around with it for a bit, see if you can find a way to break it or uh, abuse it, and then I can possibly find a way to protect against that. I really, I, I mean, I can't think of everything that everyone else would think of, so I obviously can't protect against everything. So yeah, thanks for watching.